Hey, it's Jamal. Thanks for joining us in our Cooper Road Mini basement where we often lay out transmission projects. If you've been following on our YouTube channel, you know that we've been building some monster engines for the other type of A-series, namely the rear wheel drive. The engines, of course, are, we're familiar with in the Mini Coopers, also used in the Austin Healey Sprite MG Midget series, and those are very popular in vintage racing. This is the gearbox used in the MG Midget with the 1275. Oh, through about 1975. This one here, not originally assembled by me, so uh, very interested in taking it apart and seeing how it's held up a uh, couple of seasons here behind one of my engines. But in uh, the many years I, uh, I built these, we figured out ways of optimizing all of the linkages. We can shape and modify uh, the detent areas um, such that we can enhance the feeling of crispness we can achieve on shifts. This one here we want it to click into gear very nicely and in this case behind our monster uh, we're talking probably around 130 horsepower at the wheels uh, 1380 based race engine. So hopefully you'll follow along here we're going to tear this one apart and do what we do here. We pay attention to the details uh, so that nothing comes back and bites you uh, when you're enjoying some vintage racing during the season. We can see here that we've begun to take this one apart already. Um, in our basement here, we have room to lay things out. We've got a couple of the race uh, throw-out bearing setups here, a brand new one to go with the clutch for the engine upstairs. I found a good replacement arm here from my friends at Mini Mania, because look what happened to the arm we were running. You, know, you end up with, uh, in this case, it looks like probably slightly improper hydraulic setup the stroke of the clutch and such, uh, so that uh, exuberant uh, clutching and shifting resulted in this arm uh, flexing beyond its normal range. And what happened there is it wore out the pivot point pretty severely, uh, such that this entire mechanism was leaning over enough uh, under the, the improper load from the hydraulics. Pressing on our input shaft, loading this bearing heavily and also probably doing away with that front bearing. We're going to take this apart and replace that bearing. We've already decided that much. But tag along here if you're interested. Uh, this is a uh, known as the dog engagement gear set from uh, my good friends over at MED in England. We'll get it apart, take a look at how it's done over oh, a season and a half or two here. I did not originally assemble this one, so looking forward to getting into it. Uh, I've done, of course, many, many of these gearboxes, dialed them in with straight cut gears and such, but not one of these dog engagement sets. So looking forward to getting it apart, figuring out all its details and such, and uh, we'll see what we can share.